Welcome to this uh, new webinar by, by Sir Plaza. Today, we're going to talk about the Italian Soil Belt Initiative, about the new, uh, under the new energy uh, decree. And joining us today for a presentation is Paolo Rocco Visconti, apologies, President of Italia Solare. Paolo, just want to check that you can hear us, that you're online, uh, and we hear you correctly. Are yes. you there with us, Paolo? Fantastic. Fantastic. And welcome, welcome to the, to the webinar, Paolo. Uh, we're going to start with your presentation shortly. Um, so, uh, as I mentioned, presentation, then Q&A time. So, uh, make sure to send in your questions. I'll tell more about it right uh, right away. A quick intro about Sir Plaza for those of you that are new. Uh, you probably know us from uh, our events in the solar industry that we've been organizing worldwide since many years. Uh, also, of course, uh, in Italy, one of the most uh, interesting markets for us and also uh, related for all the content that we share and that we produce as this webinar of today. Um, also, lately we have uh, launched uh, Plaza Consultancy for those of you that want to know more, especially if you're willing to expand uh, your business or looking for portfolios of assets or investment opportunities within the solar industry. Uh, within new markets, uh, that is our plaza consultancy. So make sure to get in touch if you are uh, interested. Uh, now, uh, as you probably know, we are coming back with our annual event, so Plaza Summit Italy in Rome on July 14th, which is a great opportunity for content and for networking. And for uh, you, uh, as an attendee of today's webinar, we also have a special discount on the registration fee. We'll, of course, share that with you also the email um, after the end of the webinar. But uh, so that you know, um, also make sure to check out our event on July 14th, which this year is in Rome and not in Milan. Uh, so we're coming back to Rome. A practical notes. Uh, so uh, online, you'll find me, but there's also my colleague, Tom, who uh, will um, help if you have some technical issues. So make sure to address them and send them. Send in your questions. Let's make this as interactive as possible. If you have doubts, anything, we will address them during the Q&A panel, and I will ask them to Paolo. And since you ask this very often, yes, we will make the uh, slides and the recordings available. Uh, just give us two, three days, and we will send them to you uh, via email. Uh, and the star of today, uh, you, or, or most of you know him, Paolo Rocco Viscontini, is the president of uh, Italia Solare, one of the first, uh, we call him pioneers in, in the Italian photovoltaic industry uh, since the 90s. Uh, Paolo also founded uh, Enerpoint, some of you might also know him um, with that association. Um, and most importantly, uh, President of Italia Solare, which now, uh, by the way, Paolo, congratulations, because you have uh, many, many members, if I understand correctly, more than 800 now, and always uh, uh, pressuring and promoting some interesting initiatives uh, within this Italian solar sector, especially at the governmental level. Um, and that brings me to um, to what we're gonna to what we're gonna discuss today. And I see Paolo, you are you are here. So Paolo, welcome. I, I will leave the stage for your presentation. Uh, of course, send in the questions. Um, maybe just a small reminder. Of course, we all know that this new uh, the Solar Belt Initiative is something very new, something very recent. Uh, we know you're not a lawyer, so we'll try to answer all the questions in, in the best way possible. Um, and Paolo, you also mentioned at the beginning of the, of the webinar, if someone wants to follow up with you afterwards uh, for more direct questions, feel free to do so. We'll share uh, Paolo's email. Uh, but now I'll leave the stage to you and we can uh, kick off with uh, your presentation. Thank you, Nicola, for the nice introduction. Uh, thank you. Uh, thanks to, to Sora Plaza for the invitation and welcome to uh, everybody. So uh, we are here to talk about uh, this uh, new um, initiative, the Solar Belt. Just a few words before regarding uh, Italia Solare. Italia Solare, as Nicola mentioned, uh, uh, is now the major um, Italian solar association with, with about 800 members. And uh, every month we, we grow. Uh, every month there are 20, 30 new members. This is an important signal how the Italian market is attractive for, uh, um, for many people and companies uh, from Italy and not only. Uh, we 
we are organized in uh, four major areas uh, uh, with uh, um, uh, vice president uh, leading uh, each of uh, them. I, I want to spend a few words about this because it's important. One is dedicated to residential application, one is to CNDI, another one to utility scale, so the three major applications, and the, the fourth uh, um, managing the uh, the regulation in general. Um, and uh, and then we I want to underline that we have also 15 working groups. Uh, they are very active and all the members can and uh, we want they take part as much as they can to our internal meetings because uh, it's a very, very important uh, way to uh, interact uh, with the members, to listen uh, the ideas that can also uh, arrive uh, every day, obviously, because we have an open communication. But the working group are, are an important moment of uh, discussion and the preparation of uh, uh, new um, idea requests to the uh, to the public uh, decision makers. And the one, this is one uh, example. Uh, Solar Belt uh, in, indeed uh, uh, came out as idea from uh, from Italia Solare. Then we I want to underline this because it's a very, very nice example of how um, sometimes uh, uh, an association can uh, obtain something. I think of very important in this in this specific uh, case. Um, so we we were thinking uh, how to be more uh, effective for the solar market, but also. Uh, to support uh, uh, people and companies, mainly companies in this case, uh, um, that are uh, affording very tough times uh, with a uh, high energy price. Um, we all know that uh, the Italian market is uh, uh, really um, uh, in, a, in, a, in a continuous evolution, but uh, uh, not so fast in, 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 the, in the numbers, in the authorization uh, mainly. And, um, but at the same time, uh, the, the, uh, the urgency is clear to, to everybody. So we, we needed something faster. And, um, and we thought to, to this uh, solar belt. What is uh, solar belt? Well, first of all, uh, uh, I, I have to say that when we talked about this idea to politicians of the um, different parties, the resp energy responsible for the different parties, they, uh, they were careful, <laughs> they were listening to us more than in the past, I have to say, because, you know, as uh, Nicola said, I'm a quite an uh, old PV guy and uh, uh, I tried to, to always to fight you know, for solar for many years and uh, I have to say that was quite often quite frustrating because uh, uh, renewables uh, were not so attractive for the politicians for many years. Now it was clear, and it, this is important because something is changing because it's evident that uh, renewables and mainly solar is the only effective way, real, available now um, solution to uh, to give some, um, to allow some, some results in a relatively short term. In Italy, we are all talking about a new gas source to reduce the dependency on Russian gas and in general, but in general, the price, energy price, energy market price was, uh, market price was uh, high uh, even before the war in Ukraine. So uh, the problem was already quite present. And uh, but uh, all the fossil solutions are long, and uh, we know that are not a real solution. So uh, as we know, the, the, the possibility allowed by uh, by by solar, the numbers, the economics, uh, we we went to the, the politician and said, hey, if you want to really to give a practical answer, you have to make something different of what we always hear. At the, uh, at the television or with the new laws that you are doing only gas oriented. Um, and uh, so for, at the last, the PV is considered as a real solution. Uh, this is the proof, this uh, law, to contribute uh, uh, to the reduction of energy costs for the Italian companies. You see in the central box uh, the uh, references of uh, this law. It was in, inside the, the so-called Decreto Energia. 
It was uh, uh, in April that was uh, converted into law. Usually uh, there are 60 days, so the law was uh, before in, in February. Uh, no, March, March. Uh, in beginning of March, the first decree, then we worked, uh, there was the amendment, uh, they have been approved, and they became a, a final definitive law at the end of April. Uh, this is a real uh, practical approach uh, to unblock the PV growth. We, uh, we know there are uh, <clears throat> thousands of, uh, um, of megawatts uh, that are under evaluation for the authorization, in the authorization process. Um, there are some news that something is happening, but uh, we know it's a long uh, story. We will talk better about uh, the, the numbers of authorizations, a megawatt and so on, uh, in the next uh, July 14th uh, um, summit uh, of Solar Plaza in Rome. Um, but we, we needed something of easier, faster, as we said. So uh, this was the idea, the Solar Belt Initiative, to, to build the solar plants, uh, even in agricultural lands where we know there are many uh, problems quite often because uh, there are much more limitations uh, when uh, we are talking of agricultural lands. Um, so we can uh, uh, build uh, solar plants in agricultural lands uh, if these lands are close to the uh, points of consumption, um, energy consumption. So close to industrial, artisanal and commercial areas and close in general to industrial plants and production plants. So this is uh, another uh, uh, more detailed uh, definition. Obviously, they are usually inside the, the larger uh, industrial areas. Then there are other areas we will look um, in, in a few slides. Uh, and so in, um, we saw um, three main areas of intervention at the end. So these are the three main uh, mm, routes that uh, this uh, decree is uh, uh, following. First, uh, uh, a drastic acceleration of the process of identifying areas immediately suitable for the installation of PV systems. Uh, this is a key word, immediately suitable. You have to know, if you already don't know, uh, that uh, 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 there is a global uh, renewable energy decree uh, approved at the end of last year that uh, is uh, for seeing that um, the, the government shall uh, uh, give some direction to the regions uh, about uh, the suitable areas, the criteria uh, of the suitable areas. And then after that, uh, it should be within six months, the single regions should give uh, um, the areas in their uh, regions that are uh, suitable according to the criteria uh, decided by the government. These uh, um, criteria for the, for the uh, suitable areas have not been uh, published uh, yet. We know it's uh, under definition. It should be published uh, before uh, August uh, uh, time, a little in delay, two months of delay. Uh, but it's not uh, so bad, uh, considering our usual times in Italy. And, um, and, but then we have to wait for the region reaction, region answers. Uh, and then we have to see how they will be precise in, uh, in their answer. But uh, the, the decree is uh, also um, uh, foreseeing that uh, if the regions will not uh, uh, give the, the proper answer, the state uh, will, uh, will uh, intervene uh, and will solve the delay. Um, but in the meanwhile, uh, we want to make solar. We need more solar. So uh, this uh, is uh, an introduction by this law, the immediately suitable areas that can uh, practically uh, accelerate uh, the identification of uh, some uh, areas where it's, we can know at last where we can go to, to make uh, the plants. Uh, um, and uh, this is the first uh, point. The second, uh, for such areas, um, to um, decide some, uh, to allow specific, simplified and accelerated the permitting procedures. And this is obviously important. One thing is the identification of the area. Second point, okay, once we know where the plants can be installed, what is the um, 
the, the process, the authorization process, process uh, to follow. Uh, and uh, this uh, must be, according to this decree, uh, it's important that for this area, as uh, they are um, uh, immediately uh, suitable, makes sense uh, to have uh, an accelerated uh, process, authorization process. And uh, the third uh, uh, driver is to facilitate, has been to facilitate the self-consumption of energy for renewable sources, from mainly from companies, mainly from energy, uh, big energy uh, consumers. Very easy uh, graph scheme to understand what is the solar belt. Here we see the area for commercial, industrial, or craft use. Um, if the, the, we are considering a land, agricultural land that is uh, um, in the in the range of 500 meters uh, um, from the border of the commercial industrial area, this is a first area uh, where a PV plant up to one megawatt can be installed. Uh, uh, with a simple dealer that is an easy uh, certification, an easy card. And um, if uh, uh, always in this uh, area uh, by 500 meters, and I remind you that we are talking of uh, agricultural lands, uh, if the plant is between 1 and 10 megawatt, it can be installed with a pass, Procedura Autorizzatoria Simplificata, it's simplified authorization process um, that uh, um, involves uh, um, a conference with all the local uh, uh, bodies, public bodies, but uh, uh, it's uh, much faster than uh, uh, all the other possible processes. Uh, it can last uh, two or three months, uh, to be practical. Um, so this is the first uh, part of the solar belt, the 500 meters. So again, uh, up to one megawatt DILA, between one and 10 megawatt uh, pass. Uh, between the five, uh, well, sorry, if we go further, if we go up to three kilometers, uh, we can go above 10 megawatt as a power of the plant, mm, but we need to, uh, to, to follow the pass uh, procedure, and uh, the plant uh, must be agrivoltaic, or I like more agrophotovoltaics in Italy. Uh, the laws are talking about agrivoltaic. They forgot the photon. But uh, uh, so the combination, to allow the combination, to guarantee the combination of, uh, uh, of uh, solar energy production and agriculture production. So this is uh, uh, the second step, we can say, of the solar belt. So we are talking of uh, bigger power. I, I can say it's not uh, small plants, 10, 20, up to 20 megawatt. But also if we consider only the one megawatt plant with a simple DILA that uh, requires about 30 days to then to start the, the work, uh, is, uh, I think, uh, quite revolutionary. I also remind uh, that, but that's very important, uh, that the lands we are talking about um, don't have, mm, they don't have to, to, to show some, um, uh, some environmental uh, um, limitations, no? So they have to be free from, uh, from these, uh, uh, vincoli in Italian, no? uh, vincoli paesaggistici, ambientali, environmental uh, uh, constraints. Um, you can see that now in the next slides so we, 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 we go back to these points. Uh, there is another important uh, uh, news that is the direct line. It's something that in other countries is possible, in Italy was not possible, and uh, it means that uh, uh, independently on the distance, uh, if we are uh, within the 500 meters or 300 meters or three kilometers, um, we, are, uh, we are talking now of uh, 
generally speaking, solar plants, they can be directly connected, uh, not to, to the grid, uh, to the public network, uh, to public grid, but uh, to the um, electric uh, uh, network of the electric grid of the uh, util of the factory, of the buildings, of the uh, of the uh, industry. Um, if uh, this uh, line uh, is not uh, longer than 10 kilometers, and this line sh uh, should uh, shall uh, shall be um, under the ground. So 10 kilometers, that is not uh, in terms of uh, uh, distance, uh, air distance, but is related to the to the route that uh, the, the cable is uh, is doing you now to to connect the uh, the pv plant uh, to the to the factory we can say as you can see these uh, um, these uh, news uh, are uh, or can be quite related to allow to the uh, industries to uh, self produce uh, uh, energy uh, the um, idea of uh, the solar belt uh, and also partially to with direct line, uh, partially in, in addition to the direct line, but they they are coming from what I was saying before, uh, the the problem of the um, of the high price of energy is very very heavy for all the European uh, uh, companies. Uh, and uh, as we are all very practical people working day by day, you know, in the uh, in uh, in the field, so talking with uh, people owning industries, and we we have our practical experience, uh, we um, we can say that quite often for the companies that are uh, that are consuming more energy because they have uh, industrial process that uh, usually can. Uh, uh, last all the day, 24 hours, uh, seven days a week, uh, um, quite often the roof is not enough. Uh, okay, can give a contribution, but uh, for the uh, companies for which the electric bill is uh, uh, is heavy in their uh, balance sheet, um, the, um, the contribution that uh, the a solar plant uh, can, uh, installed in a roof uh, can give this contribution can, is quite often quite limited at uh, a certain percentage. Then depends on the situation. It can be 5, 10, 15, 20, whatever. But often is really in, in this level of contribution. Um, how, what we can do, we need more uh, more energy. And uh, how we can uh, have this more energy, we need more plan, more solar modules, uh, more, more photovoltaics. And uh, But we need more space. And the roof is not enough. Let's uh, try to go somewhere else. Um, we can also talk about the so-called autoconsumo altrove. Uh, I don't know in, in English the translation. Self-consumption in another place. It's, uh, so in a different place, self-consumption. That means uh, that we can also install uh, a PV plant uh, um, in another, totally in another area, dif far distant also uh, decades of kilometers from the factory. But uh, um, one in this way is a little uh, uh, more complicated uh, uh, and um, and also it's different uh, right, complicated it's not complicated it can be done but uh, it's different from also the image if you can say point of view and so this uh, the big news of this uh, um, new decree is the fact that uh, we support the idea that uh, the connection, the real connection of uh, the solar plant uh, and the advantage that this solar plant is giving to the electric bill of uh, that uh, company. That is very important for the local acceptance. So people that uh, come out, go out from, from the municipality, look at the, or inside the municipality, I look from, go out from the residential or industrial area that see the plant, they say, hey, uh, this is the plant that is allowing to my company, if one is an employee, a worker of the company, to um, uh, to to reduce the energy cost. This is very important. This is, was, I think, um, the major reason that the, um, 
give the possibility to make approve this uh, this law. So uh, to be uh, practical, some other important points is that uh, um, these solar plants can be um, done by the uh, by the factories by the, the industrial consumers they can uh, buy they have they need the, to have a title not to to use that uh, land they can have a right of surface uh, or uh, they can purchase the land as always um, and then they can uh, connect the plant to the to the grid public grid and it's like uh, if this plant is uh, in, in more distant but they can also thanks to the direct line to have this direct connection that we will see is uh, allowing some uh, important uh, savings. Um, another important point, these plants could be theoretically, but also practically, we hope that uh, it will be done, could be done, could be realized uh, in the concept of uh, energy communities. So it means that uh, uh, more industries, uh, and why not also a residential area with many many uh, private uh, users can uh, uh, join together in an energy community to make uh, more plants or one bigger plants just out of the town together with the solar plants they uh, will install in the roof and uh, to have uh, uh, in this way the, um, the energy community to create the energy community with the advantage we know energy communities are giving by now well by now when the new um, decree will uh, arrive i hope soon uh, we can increase from 200 kilowatt up to one megawatt per plant so this um, starts to become something uh, more significant and um, i think uh, this uh, uh, solar belt uh, will give a lot of chances to energy communities to become uh, much more uh, stronger no, as contribution to the reduction of electricity bills of uh, uh, companies and uh, families. Mm, I, I can say, as I know that uh, uh, many of you are uh, investors, um, it mean, these uh, solar plants uh, can be installed also by third uh, parties uh, that will subscribe some uh, agreement uh, with the users, so as like PPA, to um, to give opportunities to investors to to make uh, quite good uh, uh, numbers. I I am optimistic about that. So uh, summarizing, the areas immediately suitable for PV systems are areas classified as agricultural, and this is just the liter literally translation of the law. Um, areas classified as agricultural enclosed within a perimeter of no more than 500 meters by areas of industrial, artisanal and commercial use, including sites subject to remediation as well as quarries and mines. So this is the first uh, family. Then quite similar, but uh, there are some uh, little difference. Areas inside the industrial plants and establishments in Italian, for the Italians that are uh, assisting is a stabilimenti, uh, the uh, translation, the best, best translation I found is this, um, but it's industrial plants in some way, as well as uh, uh, areas classified as agricultural enclosed within a perimeter whose points are no more than 500 meters from the plant or establishment. So because uh, uh, there are some specific definition, plant is the building of the industry, establishment uh, should be uh, the areas where uh, there, are, there is the plant, the industrial plant, and uh, some services area. So quite often, it can happen that uh, some areas of these uh, are still agricultural, even if they are inside this. The expert told me like that, it can happen. So in this way, they include also this agricultural area. So that this area can be also agricultural, okay, no problem. We are uh, in, uh, this is an, an immediately suitable area. From my personal experience, I, I saw usually industries, so as building, industrial buildings inside the industrial areas. That is, uh, uh, I think, the most common situation. There are other uh, immediately suitable areas. Um, the areas that are adjacent to motorways within a distance of no more than 300 meters, starting from the road and its uh, upper this is a difficult word for me. Um, 
we still have to understand honestly uh, from where exactly this, uh, this distance is starting. If it's the border uh, of the road or is the center, this uh, will be clarified. But anyway, the area is quite uh, wide, 300 meters. Uh, and in all this area, um, plant, solar plants can follow the same rule we saw before. Uh, then uh, sites and facilities of Italian state railways group companies. You will know the Ferrovia dello Stato, Trenitalia in Italy are very, very uh, important. But there are other local uh, uh, railway companies that are managing the infrastructure of the, the train infrastructure. Uh, there are in Milano and other big towns, there are other, um, not only big towns, but other than uh, Ferrovia dello Stato, other than Trenitalia. Also, in these areas, uh, um, there will be, there is uh, already now, because we are talking of something that is already low, that is a, a real uh, possibility to, to make the things. In these areas, uh, uh, solar is uh, um, simplified, uh, the installation of solar plants. Then the last is at sites where, the, where there are existing, this is something that was uh, uh, passing a little, uh, uh, a little without uh, big attention, but it's, I think, a revolutionary list. Um, where there are existing PV plants, uh, without uh, changing the area occupied or with a variation of no more than 500 meters uh, uh, of the perimeter of the plant, uh, substantial modifications are carried out for refurbishment, upgrading, or complete uh, reconstruction also with the addition of storage systems with a capacity of no more than three megawatt hour for each megawatt of power of the PV plant. Practically, uh, if a company has uh, a solar plant, uh, and there are thousands in Italy, uh, we can increase, we can add to that solar plant further plants within the area of 500 meters from the area of this uh, solar plant. Um, making, adding new power, adding also storage, and always uh, util using uh, the facilitated, accelerated uh, uh, authorization process. Uh, I know you will have a lot of, of, uh, of uh, questions, we too, for some details, as I said, because uh, honestly, we talked mainly, as I tell you, when we talked with the politicians to regarding the, the, the areas around the, the, the industrial areas, the, the solar belt, then uh, this idea probably li uh, they found uh, uh, a good attention and it's been uh, extended to some other um, applications like this. And this, uh, I think, uh, uh, seems to be revolutionary because uh, it means that uh, the um, asset owner of uh, plants, and in Italy we know there are thousands of one megawatt plant, up just a little under one megawatt, or also other power, they can mm, extend the, uh, the power of their plants uh, using uh, an um, uh, this uh, uh, new law. Um, uh, uh, we think uh, that uh, as we are talking of extension, of power extension, the, it means that, that uh, the owner must be the same. Uh, it's not uh, clearly written, but uh, we think uh, that uh, this is uh, um, mandatory. Uh, so, sorry, Paolo, if I can, if I can maybe stop you before we go to the to the next slide because uh, we are already having some questions and I don't want to keep them all for the end. Uh, here we in the slide before you were also mentioning about agri PV land and very first question from one of our attendees is uh, to understand uh, how do Italian authorities exactly define agri PV land because uh, every country has its own specification based on various metrics. So. Could you just expand uh, a bit more of, on that, if possible, to, to uh, maybe give a bit more clarity there? Uh, we can talk about two uh, areas um, of uh, two kinds of um, two kind of uh, agri PV. Uh, the agri PV that can uh, um, have access to um, subsidies. And uh, it should be, I say, I will use the conditional still, I'm sorry, because uh, we are waiting 
also uh, these uh, decrees. Mm, so what I'm t telling you is just an anticipation of a general uh, um, general context, but uh, the, the 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 details uh, mm, are not uh, published yet. But we understand uh, that from the first discussion that uh, um, the, the the Ministry of uh, Ecological Transition will uh, define the agri PV uh, suitable for the um, subsidies, and uh, this agri PV will should have uh, um, a minimum uh, height to allow a better um, cultivation under. The, the structure, uh, but uh, this is for subsidies. For uh, mm, the other application, uh, by now we see a generic definition of, of a combined activity, uh, solar uh, of solar and agriculture, solar production, uh, solar energy production, and uh, and uh, agriculture uh, activity. Um, so I'm I'm sorry uh, to tell you again that uh, we need uh, some more clarification from the government. Uh, in this moment, the government has a lot of uh, decrees uh, on the table, um, on their desk to to uh, to finish. Unfortunately, the last uh, months were quite critical because they were continuously busy in. Um, writing new decrees for the energy emergency to, to see where to, to get money to reduce uh, partially at the end because the result was not so uh, incredible uh, so so strong <laughs> to reduce the the energy prices so this is the reason of the of the delays uh, practical reason and i don't have to justify them but this is what uh, what happened so by now i can say this uh, of these two uh, two different kind about APV. Nicola, do you have other questions? Uh, uh, no, I, I think we, 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 well, we can actually take in one, one more question since we're here, because uh, right before we're also talking about uh, pass, about the pass procedure here. Uh, and we'd like to know also if, if the PV project is in an industrial area, uh, if the limit for the pass procedure is below 20 megawatt peak, or, or if it's uh, in a different range, if you could also clarify that. No, I confirm that uh, is a bit in this context is between one megawatt and ten megawatt, uh, twenty megawatt. Sorry, twenty megawatt. Okay, uh, um, beyond uh, the five hundred meters. Uh, if we are uh, uh, within the five hundred meters, we can uh, uh, arrive uh, maximum at ten megawatt with the pass. Um, then, uh, honestly, I always have to ask to to my to our uh, legal uh, expert because uh, the, the laws uh, are incredibly um, crossing one with the other so my but uh, i think it's obvious my suggestion uh, is always to um, to to work uh, with uh, expert lawyers because the the italian laws are always in a continuous evolution and uh, quite uh, interconnected one one with the other uh, yes, that's very fair point. Paolo, I will let you continue with the presentation because we have some other questions, but I think they're more, I see they're more broad, okay. general, so I'll keep them for later. Yeah, yeah, but I think I have just a two, three, um, yeah. two, three slides more, not more. So, uh, so there are also these areas uh, close to the motor, close to the motorways, uh, close to the uh, Trains area, no, Ferrovia dello Stato area, and not only, also the the other private companies, and, and then uh, very very interesting the areas close to the existing plants, and at last we see in uh, some uh, laws uh, uh, related to, to energy uh, some first support to storage systems. By now is uh, an authorization support, but we we as association we are really. Um, pushing to to give more uh, support to the storage. So uh, I uh, I explained just a few at the beginning, you know, with our scheme before the direct line. So uh, it is possible to realize a renewable energy plant connected to the company's electricity network 
with or grid with a direct underground connection up to a maximum length of 10 kilometers following the route no consumers other than the production unit and the consumption unit may be connected to the connection this is an, another important uh, revolution for uh, the italian uh, situation because before it was not possible and um, and uh, this, so we don't have necessity like before to connect the solar plant to the to the public grid, but we can go directly to our uh, uh, customer to our, to the user, and this is very important uh, mainly for the companies with uh, mm, with for the industries with a high energy consumption because one can install. Uh, uh, a plant, 1, 10, 20, 50 megawatts, whatever, and uh, connect this plant directly to the uh, to the industry. Then, if there is uh, uh, then an over um, production, also the, the energy, the solar energy is exceeding the need, uh, it will enter I I in the grid anyway, but from the counter of the uh, of the factory. Um, so this system may be owned. The system may be owned and or operated by a third party with respect to installation, operation, and maintenance. However, the third party must respond to the instruction of the set consumers. So these are pills that we, we got from the from the law, and this is a I can say uh, very clearly another request of uh, uh, from Italia Solare that has been uh, um, listened uh, and uh, it became reality. That's uh, very nice and. Um, because uh, it's not, it doesn't happen so often, unfortunately. Saving, and uh, what does it mean, uh, uh, this direct line, uh, practically? It means that uh, there can be quite uh, important savings uh, for the factories. Uh, we can avoid the cost of transmission, dispatching, uh, grid losses, uh, excise duties, uh, besides, obviously, the certainty of the energy price. Uh, uh, equal to the cost of the energy produced by the photovoltaic system. We are all, you are all experts of solar. You know that the real PV um, kilo, kilowatt hour can be around 40, uh, even less, well, depends on the situation, but around 40, 45 uh, euro per kilowatt hour uh, as a real cost. Uh, so this means that uh, while uh, the, the energy price is uh, 200, 250, even 300 euro per megawatt hour, uh, a factory can assure an energy so electric energy source at a fixed cost that we know it's much, much uh, lower, depends on uh, his calculation. His calculation. Uh, the, then this means that uh, also that the uh, um, the, the factory can make its own plant, investing its own money, or a third party can do selling then the, the energy to the uh, to the factory if it's a quite a strong uh, um, customer that can give a big guarantee. Why not? It, it can be another opportunity for the um, for the investor. Uh, so. This uh, saving about uh, uh, the energy cost uh, is the most important advantage of the direct line. Conclusions, uh, very easy. Well, we think that the solar belt is a measure with enormous potential that can bring uh, many gigawatt of installations each year. If you think that in Italy we have more than 8,000 municipalities, let's estimate that uh, 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 5,000 of these make uh, some megawatt that can be minimum two, three megawatt a year. It's possible. We are talking only for this of more than 10 gigawatt a year. Okay, it's a theoretical calculation, but can become uh, practical. It depends on uh, how much uh, this uh, um, low, this uh, possibility will be known by the, the people. Unfortunately, in, in television, okay, they talk only about gas. Uh, this news uh, never went to the television. Many, many people don't know, but uh, we really think that this is a real practical uh, solution to allow the, uh, an important saving uh, to the electric bills of, uh, for sure, of the industries, but also 
of families once uh, energy communities are uh, established. Uh, okay, we are we have to wait, unfortunately, some uh, decrees, like uh, the, uh, as I said, uh, the new decree for the energy community that is uh, uh, we, will allow to to move to the one megawatt plant as a um, maximum limit power, but uh, it will it will be, we think, in a few weeks. So that's uh, one point, uh, enormous potential. Then we have. Uh, to say that, uh, as you could understand from my explanation, that not everything is clear, partially because I'm not always very good to explain, possibly, but partially also because uh, the law is not uh, uh, clear or really is uh, thinking to all the details. So our role now is uh, collecting uh, all, the, all the doubts, uh, the, the interpretation that, that uh, can uh, come out and will come out for sure in the next uh, weeks um, and then we can aggregate them and we have a continuous uh, um, connection with uh, politicians and uh, uh, less continuous with the ministries. I say less continuous because it's not an easy ministry this time but uh, not for the people who are working eh? but uh, okay our uh, ministry is not uh, very very easy to talk with but uh, in a way or in another, we, we can arrive to some answer and we are very um, hard and we continue to, to ask if someone is not uh, answering to our, to our questions. Obviously, uh, we, um, we hope that uh, um, the, the people that now are assisting to this uh, webinar that are not uh, Italia Solar members, they will become Italia Solar members, they can take part to our meetings or can they, they can just give their idea or uh, um, present their uh, doubt, question, whatever, so that uh, we can, uh, we can uh, interact, uh, we can uh, consider this uh, request, uh, 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 we go to the public bodies to the decision makers to to ask for clarifications or changes of, of some particular of this law and not only there are a lot of things to do and for this reason also we need to become stronger and stronger because it's working the more we are bigger and we and the more we see that they they consider us obviously Sorry. absolutely absolutely thank you Paolo and I think this is a, a great message especially given the fact that uh, what you are doing with Tessa clearly is having an impact, so um, indeed. Um, I will um, ah, maybe also on a short notice, uh, this will also be covered uh, indeed during the conference on, on July 14th, and we also do have uh, indeed policy makers, uh, especially for the Ministry of Energy and within all the Senate committees that draft the decrees that will be there, so this will also be, uh, be, be indeed discussed and you can also ask the questions there. Uh, I will now move to the uh, Q and A uh, part. There are a lot of questions, so you will have to excuse me if I will not be able to address all of the questions to Paolo. Uh, as mentioned, uh, uh, feel free also to get in touch with Paolo uh, separately. But let's also maybe take some of the ones that have that have been um, that have come up. Uh, so first of all, uh, so we understand this, you know the Solar Belt Initiative is indeed now a reality. It will be perfection. But how long do you think it will take for uh, the, the project, new projects under the Soren Belt Initiative to, uh, to take place and, and to be built? If you had to give us an estimate here. Well, uh, I know that uh, many people, many companies are already active, um, signing contracts with the land owners um, of these areas. And uh, this... Uh, uh, solar belt is the fastest possible uh, way to make uh, plants. So now we we obtained something positive. Now there is possibilities of the solar companies uh, to make it uh, as soon as possible to make uh, numbers. Uh, and uh, uh, I think we have now a responsibility because otherwise we risk to to pass uh, to be considered like the. the the ones they always complain and now there is something uh, that uh, we can use uh, to um, to make a gigawatt really so mm -hmm. it's in our hands uh, we don't have, if we see the simpler uh, situation uh, that uh, can already in my opinion uh, include the 90 percent of situations we can already 
work we can already start to 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 work because of, at the end we can make a, we can sign a contract for for land we can make the request of connection if the connection is good one letter to the municipality 30 days you start the installation more than that we cannot uh, uh, do so no excuse uh, just uh, just work I would say, Paolo, it seems maybe uh, even uh, almost too good to be to be in Italy, right? But uh, but let's hope it will indeed turn uh, uh, turn uh, turn into reality. And um, uh, uh, also, maybe uh, go, go ahead, go ahead, sir, Paolo. Oh, so, sorry, Nicola, because I I, uh, I tell you, um, I this idea so was coming to me also when I, and, but not only to me, eh, many other people is no, I'm not. Uh, uh, genius for that. When we travel uh, by by airplane, no, Ar above Italy, Italy is like many other European uh, countries. We see a village, okay, with a what's the name in English? Campanile, the, the church. Uh, bell tower, yeah, bell tower. The bell, bell tower, tower. The bell tower, the historic center, because Italy is, uh, you know, very beautiful. Come to Italy also, not only to install plants, but also on vacation. And uh, there are all the nice historical centers, there are all the residential area, and then one, two or three industrial areas with uh, uh, industrial buildings. And then countryside, not uh, like in, in Spain, we are different countries. Then uh, you see the, the, the following village just after two, three kilometers, maybe. It's, there is a quite a high density. So the, these areas around the town, the villages, cannot be considered like uh, the ones that are uh, more distant. And, and uh, so this was uh, the target we had for a, a long time, and we are happy that now this became a reality. Because also, as a very old PV guy, we always have to think that the best technical solution is to install uh, solar as much as we can close to the consumption. This just simply makes sense. Uh, so. Uh, okay, this consumption can be direct if the plant is owned by the industry, but the, uh, if it's connected to the grid of this plant, at the end, this, the electrons we love, the solar electrons, uh, will, will enter in a grid that uh, but practically, re realistically, will, will uh, uh, go to the industries and the local uh, houses and so on. So this is technically the best thing, uh, reducing the, the, the load to the high transmission uh, uh, lines. Terna will not be so happy, but uh, it's the best solution. Uh, and uh, Power here, maybe we also have some nice questions that could challenge a bit uh, your presentation because it, it seems it very nice. Uh, and one is, uh, I like a lot, because indeed you made before an estimate about how many uh, uh, let's say potentially gigawatts we could install uh, per year uh, given this and uh, Natalie asks quite rightly uh, aren't you afraid we don't have enough installers uh, at this moment in time to complete this and also uh, aren't you also afraid that you know uh, uh, yes this time with the municipalities have been cut down but indeed 30 days it's quite uh, quite rapid but Often you also encounter people that work in municipalities that maybe are not so much aware with procedures or make a lot of confusions with that. So do, how, how do you see those two obstacles as being solved uh, under the, the current scenario? Uh, you are right. Uh, so the potential is big, but then we have to consider um, some uh, elements. Uh, one is uh, the capability to, to install. You are right uh, the, the, that, uh, well, in this moment, uh, Italian uh, electric companies are very, very busy to install uh, plants uh, uh, in, the in the residential buildings with the super bonus, the, the 110% uh, tax uh, uh, deduction that is uh, mm, that created a lot of job, but now is also in a particular situation. Um, but to be very practical, uh, this work uh, will be reduced in the next uh, uh, few weeks. We think that uh, after summer or maximum October, um, the works uh, will be finished because uh, uh, they have to finish the 30% of the work by uh, September 30. And uh, so many people now are very, very busy on that. 
and then they will uh, uh, be a little released by, by this uh, super bonus activity. Mm, I think that, okay, there is a, um, a limitation due to this uh, aspect, this fact, but uh, if one has a good pipeline, it's time, I think, also to create new jobs because uh, we need uh, so many gigawatt that we all, as entrepreneur, we have to think a uh, uh, little broader way, um, also uh, creating opportunities uh, for local uh, people, local companies to, to uh, to have a con more works uh, continuously. Uh, the second aspect, and so what, no, then the, the, the gigawatt number, let's try to estimate uh, afterwards. The, the second aspect you correctly mentioned is uh, what will happen locally? Uh, will, um, the, will the uh, municipality, technical office, uh, uh, understand, accept, or they will create problems. I cannot say there will be no problem 100% uh, because uh, um, something can happen. And I have to say that we already received uh, some uh, um, information, some denounce from uh, some, from uh, some uh, companies saying, hey, for instance, in Emilia Romagna, I people, some technical of local technical office said that in Emilia Romagna we have. Uh, the uh, regional uh, rule that uh, the solar plant cannot occupy more than the 10 percent of the agricultural land uh, and this was already creating some uh, um, uncertainty and concern uh, well uh, this is a uh, not correct position the state uh, law uh, uh, is above the regional law the problem is that the state and region are not always in a very good relation, so they, uh, the region wants their autonomy. But as association, considering this uh, uh, risk that becomes sometimes a reality, we asked to some politicians to prepare and to, to, to um, support an amendment in the new law that will be approved by July 17th that will clarify in an undoubtable way that uh, the uh, state law are uh, um, prevailing. I don't know if English is correct, prevailing. Okay, the, the regional laws are above. Are, okay. and we have to see if uh, it will be approved, but uh, uh, and honestly, it wouldn't be necessary because the law is already clear, but uh, to underline better, to clarify more, this critical point, uh, we, we are working to make it uh, uh, approved so that uh, um, then the developer can show to the municipality technical office this uh, to uh, avoid the problem. So at the end, uh, what will be the gigawatt uh, uh, power, the power that we can install? Mm, it will be gradual as always. Uh, but uh, I think that, okay, we are now already at the half of the year. I think uh, now, okay, many companies already started, but in the next months, uh, the works will, after uh, above all this webinar, a lot of people will start to work uh, on this uh, area and the uh, number will increase a lot uh, and installations, uh, because then what we like not is not paper, but is uh, connection, <laughs> real connection. Uh, maybe uh, I hope that uh, this year uh, maybe a half gigawatt could be installed or some a few hundred megawatt. I would be already happy. And but next year uh, we have to to uh, our target must be a few gigawatt, two three gigawatt only for this. Uh, in my in my opinion, unless yes. something happens of uh, of crazy because it could be only a crazy reason to stop. Uh, uh, this uh, evolution, this development of solar. Absolutely. So, Paolo, keep uh, keep in inspiring policy makers uh, also through through Italia Solare. Uh, since we 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 reached uh, the our webinar, uh, you'll have to excuse me also for the attendees if I'm not able because we have really a lot of questions today, uh, a lot. Uh, so, I really invite you to to also contact Paolo, contact us uh, directly, or also you know come. Uh, come at the event for the 14th where you meet Paolo and uh, we will we'll definitely discuss uh, these topics. 
having said that, Paolo, uh, thank you very much for, for the presentation because it was very insightful. Uh, I always judge it by the number of questions we have, and we had a lot. Uh, believe me, <laughs> I, I do see them. Uh, so, so hopefully we also, you know, able to to inspire some people and to shed some clarity on further development of PV projects uh, in Italy for this sort of belt initiative. Yes, Nicola, please forward these questions. We'll do our best to give answers. Then you will see how to transfer the answer. And uh, maybe, uh, so it will be interesting to see these questions because so that we can prepare also our, uh, my <laughs> presentation at the uh, Plaza uh, July 14th in, uh, in Rome to, to give the best service to the attendees. Absolutely. And for the attendees, we will also share the recordings and slides, so we'll have access to them. Just give us two, three days. Paolo, thank you again for being with us, thank and uh, we, we'll, we'll see you in Rome uh, in the coming weeks then. Thank you. Bye-bye. Thank everyone. you. Bye.